So I don't know how, how many of you heard the term bouncing. Full skill, let's make sure we land on the ball and bounce to our feet, long place. Okay. That's yes, so, so it could be in the tackle, it could be around the breakdown, okay, but, but essentially it's, it's two things. It, it actually originated out of fitness. So going back 15 years, you play a game of touch, conditioned touch, a conditioned game, and when you made a touch, or well, the rest of the team had to do a press-up. So come back and do a press-up. So the press-up was then, you know, tough work. And if they were doing 15, 20 press-ups every five minutes, then that's pretty, pretty hard stuff. But then what, what was happening was that if you take the Tower of Power, a lot of it is about your body position around the floor. So tackling, breakdown work, 90% of it is there or below on the floor. So what people do is hitting the floor gets you in a good body position, get up, so bounce back up quickly, you're in a very good body position. Come right, come right. Squeeze right. Come right, come right. Yeah, look, So what we tend to do is we now use people hitting the floor and getting back up again. The more they hit the floor and get up, the more they're actually practicing good body position. So the bouncing in make a tackle, bounce up, hit a bag, bounce up, make a touch, do a down and up, bounce back up again. You've been touched, so if I was carrying the ball, um, so rather than you know a lot of games with one second touch, you touch me, I've got a second to offload, what we'll do is you touch me, I have to hit the deck and bounce back up again. Him. So what's going to happen is Jamie's going to bounce, get up, drive into the man. Okay, you're the man, the blue, the defender's going to give some resistance. Okay, you're then going to long place. You're then going to come over, crab over, and you'll become the scrum half for the attacking side. So it's not only hard work physically, but it's actually conditioning my body to being used to getting on the floor and bouncing back up again. So you did, so just to help, so clarify, I've seen you doing this with a both offensive and defensive. So in the offensive, if you get touched, to your point, you go down, you bounce up, you, you move forward, and then you present the ball, right? And in the meantime, the defenders who touch then have to get back five, bounce down, bounce back up. Yes, so what you're trying, what I'm trying to do <clears throat> is I'm trying to replicate without the physical contest right. that in a game, every time you make a tackle or get tackled, you've got to get back off the floor again. And normally people are asking you to get back off the floor again in a contact environment and make a difference. You get across the gain line, jackal for the ball, yeah. what's called um, the race for space uh, with, with, with the breakdown. If you dominate the space at the breakdown, you generally win the, win the possession. So it's about that race for space and that's all about how quickly you hit the deck and get back up again. Guys, race for space, let's go. Let's go, press. Are we down and up for the rest? No, no down and ups. Liam on it, red, red. Liam on it, red. Go! Good. Red ball, red ball. Please stay on. Yeah, and Liam, let's go, let's go. Have a go, Liam. Go, go. Excuse me. Down you go. Two down. Go! Red ball. So the Tower of Power is very much saying, okay, for lads, you know, let's get into these positions. But what you can do, the more they play games and you then condition them to hit the deck, get back up again, when you then ask them to do specific exercises and practices around the Tower of Power, they're actually more used to it. Mm. And it does strengthen them up. Yep. If you've got to do 100 press-ups in every Tuesday night and every Thursday night, you know, after six months, you're going to be pretty strong. And it's these boys are... It's even if you don't know you're doing it. It's in well, a game the and they don't yeah, think, you know, we, We've kids at under 11. Mm -hmm. Under 11, and they don't know how to fall. They don't know how to go down to the ground. Yeah. And, and, and some of them don't want to go down to the ground because they're getting muddy and dirty. <laughs> and, 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 well, this, this not so, so, this, so actually, this this is one thing, one thing I was going to talk about. How many sports? How many sports involve getting up off the floor or hitting the ground? Wrestling. Yeah. Football. Football. How many times have I gone on the floor in football? Oh, no, you run run around around yeah. Yeah. Around yeah. 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 Oh, my leg's gone again! Oh, yeah. 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 What I would say, actually, <laughs> is because of that reason, you know, the slide tackle has actually gone out of the game in football. Has, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. the point is, 
there's very few sports yeah. outside yeah. of some judo and wrestling judo, thinking, outside yeah. of that very few sports so yeah, boy right, okay. children grow up nearly yeah. all their sports these days yeah. on the floor which is why they're uncomfortable on being the on the floor and actually so wrestling games getting them comfortable hitting the floor rolling so you know, you've seen that sardine rolling yeah. sardine yeah. Yeah. Thing. you know getting them having some fun around the, on the floor gives them the confidence and the other thing I would do um, when we come on to the tackle bit in, a, in a, very shortly was actually you regress before the tackle so that they're comfortable on the floor.